Ooh, well, it's almost Halloween here, and we are having our family Halloween get-together where we dress up. Everybody brings their specialty dessert or appetizer, and we have a Carolina barbecue. We're going to go out and pick some pumpkins and our pump homemade pumpkin patch that I made, and we'll carve some pumpkins. We'll have s'mores at the fire, so I'm real excited about for the kids to get here tonight. Well, in the meantime, I thought I would give some fun facts, 10 of them, about Halloween. So here they are. Fact number one is it started as a pre-Christian Celtic festival called San Han, which means summer's end, held at the beginning of November. Halloween means holy evening. It was shortened from All Hallows Eve. And Halloween is the evening vigil before All Saints Day which is a religious holiday honoring Christian martyrs. Fact number two about Halloween is that the people in Ireland, United Kingdom, and France all had sacrificial bonfires to ward off the ghosts, and they wore costumes. Fact number three, trick-or-treating has existed since medieval times, known as guising in Scotland and Ireland. Back then, people went from door to door looking for food or money in exchange for a song, a trick, or a poem, which morphed into trick or treating today. Fact number four. Sugar rationing during World War II paused trick or treating. After the rationing ended, it went full steam ahead on the candy collecting front and the advertising, and we see that advertising has not stopped today. Fact number five, the Irish brought us the jack-o'-lanterns. They would use the potato, the turnip, or the beet. But when the Irish fled the potato famine that devastated their country in the 1840s, they brought the tradition to America with them. Now, as the story goes, an Irish man named Stingy Jack tricked the devil and was not allowed into heaven or hell. He spent his days roaming the earth carrying a lantern, therefore named Jack a Lantern. Once it became popular in America, we started using pumpkins. Fact number six Halloween is the largest commercial holiday in our country. It made over eight billion dollars in 2020 and that is approximately 92 dollars a person hard to believe and fact number seven candy corn was originally called chicken feed the golitz confectionery company originally sold the treats in boxes with a rooster on the front of them fact number eight harry houdini died on halloween in 1926. Mm -hmm. And fact number nine, the night before Halloween is called Mischief Night. That's when little bad children go out in egg homes or toilet paper trees. So don't do that because it's hard on the adults. They gotta clean that mess all up. And now for fact number 10. Now, this is my fact, my opinion, or this is a fact. I am a Christian, and I do not like celebrating the demonic aspects of Halloween. Now, mind you, I know there's a witch's head and a, a demonic mask and a scary ventriloquist-looking doll over there. However, we made a movie with these things, and through the power of Christ, we destroyed the enemy. So... I am on the fact of, uh, when I was growing up, I was allowed to trick-or-treat and dress up. So I, those are fond memories for me. And when I became a parent, I had to make a decision. Do I want those things for my kids? Because I learned during the course of my life how some of the aspects of Halloween are not very good. So I just came to the conclusion that I was not going to keep the dressing up and the candy and the trick-or-treating from my kids so we did that and but I would look for church trunk or treats church festivals church fall fests and take my kids to those things 
and that is one thing I do not regret. So I want to thank the churches for the time that you take to prepare those events because it does matter to individuals and to the community. So thank you so much. I'm looking forward to our personal family celebration tonight of Halloween. Okay, like I'm so going to try cute. to get into character, that one's so cute. Uh, but I'm what not really good at French. I took it for a year or two and I had no idea strangers. what to do. So this, okay. right now that we're doing arts and crafts at the table, later on we will be doing pumpkin carving there soon, after we pick the pumpkins out of the patch. These are Erica's specialty, red velvet cakes. With the icing is red velvet, cream uh, cheese. Oh, this now? is um, carrot cake. Oh, sorry. Oh, thank you. You're Dang, welcome. I got that's my bad. Thank you. Is that the other Mother. recipe here from before? Yes, that's the same that's one. The red, that uh -huh. the See what else we got here. We got some. And Tom made this hand. That's actually Rick said he was cutting off his hand for an appetizer. Oh my god. And then the Nanny has her pumpkin. Then we have some guacamole. See, right. there's, there's his hand he gave us. We're going to have his hand for dinner. Thank you. <laughs> He's so He's so sacrificial, isn't he? Oh, look oh, how delicious it looks. I can't wait to eat delicious. it. Grass-fed organic. <laughs> yes. It's also keto. And we also have, can you lift this lid, hon? Sure. Carolina barbecue. That is our Boston butt. Should I leave it open so it can cool down Pulled so you can cut pork? it? No, nah, it's okay. We've got uh, baked beans and Carolina barbecue sauce, which is tomato and vinegar based. So, we will head back outside. There is Hot Dog Money Pants. Hey! We've got some theme music going on. A little bit spooky. And we will be playing a game later. The dreaded 1313 Dead End Drive. Actually, that's not the one I was thinking of. I was thinking about the werewolf and vampire one. Hey, hon, where's the... That's not the werewolf and vampire one. What? That game. That's oh, the one that's where the... that's the Dead End Drive. That's the one like Clue. Oh, that's the one I can find. So what's Job's name tonight? She's a werewolf. Oh, she is. <laughs> yeah, a werewolf. 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 Where is she? I have left my cat werewolf. She's probably under the like that. I mean, I don't even look like anything. You look like a witch. <laughs> I mean, like that's, that's what you're supposed to be. That's why didn't I get dressed up or something? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I, I can't believe it. You did not say that. Yeah, I just said, did. Nanny, why didn't you wear a costume? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's awful. <laughs> no, you look like Kurt Russell. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah, you look like <clears throat> From Captain, uh, what's it called? Captain. <laughs> yeah, that's a good recipe. Ooh -wee, ooh -wee. That frosting's where it's at. I can just like have this much. Ooh. It's different this time? Yeah. Well, see, it, the yeah. food coloring, in my opinion, t changed the flavor. But I wasn't trying specifically to have the cream cheese in the cake itself. I oh, think well, it's because it's a cupcake. Yeah. Because the other one cooked in like. A form this big, you know, so it, it, it would have a different no, did chemistry. No, you put fresh or candy ginger? In? No. Did you put any ginger? In? Cinnamon, no. It's really hurting. I mean, I guess it was tender, but that was not so bad. Did you look like Quasimodo? No. How big was it? Like this no, it big? wasn't. You couldn't <laughs> see it. It was just an air bubble. It was just little. The saddest part was when she went in. They're like, we need to, we need to operate immediately, and she just started crying. Oh. <laughs> I would cry too. Yeah, I would too. No, because they literally said to me, oh, uh, we're going to need to take... Oh, <laughs> good job. <laughs> mm. <laughs>